Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Archfiend and this is an unboxing of Heart of the Swarm StarCraft 2, the collector's edition. As you can see right now here, it has just been delivered. It is actually still in the actual delivery box itself, so let's unpackage this. I'm just gonna use a cutter from work. So trying to just one-handed is a little tricky. I've... Open we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, already on like this. Turn it. I would advise anyone to. What the hell's that? There we go. All right, we got the receipts. Just put that there. Well, first of all, already, I uh, can't can't see if you can tell this from the glare, but. Already, it's it's in the same kind of style as the previous collector's edition in that sort of vault-looking thing. Um, instead of the blues, it's all purples. It actually looks more like it's been infected and damaged and warped. Not damages in the contents of damage, but more like you see there. It's the whole battle scarring type thing. So, actually, on the back you've got what's in it. So you've got the whole art book, soundtrack, behind the scenes, DVD, blah blah blah, in-game stuff, which we'll need to check out later. So. Let's open this puppy up. Use the other bit you open. Come here. Come here. There we go. Not as professional as the Yogg's cast might be with the Frostmourne opening or Doom Hammer, but hey, it gets the job done. Just get this open. Alright. Note to self, next time do this do this with a second person. <laughs> This is the second person because trying to do this all one-handed. I have no idea how one-handed people do this normally. It's I would not have probably expect them to try to do this recording. That was quite nice. I like the lighting effect on that right there because I like that. That's nice. It makes it look all jumping out. So open it up. Oh, there we go. Trying not to break anything. That's that timber. <laughs> the lights, but. So you pretty much got what it says on the back there. Let's see, first of all, we've got the soundtrack. Now, I'm not gonna flip this over because the names will be on it, so. And given that the names of the soundtrack tend to be spoilers, so. There's that, that's the soundtrack right there. Put stuff over to the side a little so we can have a nice room. Put that down there. We have the behind the scenes DVD. That's got like, director's commentary, tools of the trade, actor studio. Esports retrospective, so all that good stuff. That's nice. It's a nice wee grill effect there on the Zerg symbol there. So that's nice. One second. Sorry about that. Random salesperson at the door. Anyway, back to the thing. So we've got the behind the scenes DVD. We then have the actual game DVD itself. That looks nice. Personally speaking, I do actually like having a physical copy on me. It's much better for me. It's some. It's more visceral if you've actually got the physical thing on you. It's like. Sure, you can have like digital copies of games running around, but if something goes wrong with that, you still got the hard copy. So that's nice. You have the oh, that looks nice. I don't know if that's with actual in-game visuals or if that's just been created just for that, but that looks nice. You got the whole usual mouse mat stuff you get with collector's editions. That looks nice. I mean, look at that. Look at the, that is lovely detailing. Seriously, I did a 3D animation course back for university, and that is gorgeous. It's stuff like that. It seems like this, actually, that made me want to go into a 3D art and animation. So, I've, got, I've passed it, but I would not be able to put anything out like this, at least not for a few more years if I kept practicing. So, that's something. I need to keep practicing for that. Oh, the PS de Resistance. The Collector's Art Book. That's nice. That is actually raised up on that. That is actually raised on it. In fact, all of this is actually raised up on it. All the bone type things, all the Zerg detailing, it's actually all raised. Even the grill part on this book actually feels like a grill. That is awesome. That is amazing. Burpees! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Anyway, so we'll probably take a leaf through that later on because because once again, ooh, close up. Once again, there's like it's a collector's edition, so you're gonna have 
it's the art books, so you're going to have like spoilers and all that in. And I know how many people hate spoilers. So we've got that going on. Anyway, back to the box. Is there anything else running around in here? Uh, let's take a look, see, shall we? Uh, nope, that's pretty much except for the plastic crap, but that's about it, really. Okay, so you've got the behind the scenes DVD, you've got the soundtrack, you've got the game, you've got the art book, you've got the stuff as well. Now, the digital stuff, stuff that comes digitally with it. You've got the whole portraits, you've got the skin for the Ultralisk, with the, the Torescu Ultralisk skin. You have in World of Warcraft, you'll have the wee Bangling pet. And something I'll need to check out later is the Diablo 3 stuff. Because I'm not sure if that is actually... The, the wings, if they're uh, an item, or a power-up, or an enchanting thing, or just a thing in options like display, turn on helm, turn off helm, kind of thing. So that's something we'll need to check out later on. You then have like the whole special banner portrait stuff, which, again, we'll take a look at in-game later on when we can get a chance to. So, all right, that's pretty much it, all of it for the non-spoiler content, so, try to hide away the cuddly toys. <laughs> um, that's all the non-spoiler content, so if you want to stick around, I'm going to do the spoiler content, I'm going to take a leaf, take a brief leaf through the art book. So, if that's all you wanted to see, if you just wanted to see the stuff, that's it. Jeff Archfiend, signing out. You still here? Okay, that means you want the whole spoiler stuff. You want to see what's in the art book. Okay, so just move the stuff away so we can actually get a proper book through here. There we go. Now then, art book. As usual, it's all sealed in the plasticky wrap stuff, so grab the cutter opener. Grab the Stop showing you shots of my bed only. This is hard with one hand, trying to do this with one hand. It's like... Ignore that, that's just a forum chat dinging. Shout out to Axiom Roleplay there. Yeah, it's Star Wars RP, so it's an RP forum, so shout out to you guys. Get the plastic crap off it. Alright. Let's take a look. First page. Okay, we've got the whole kind of like Zerg detailing in inside here. That's Nova versus Kerrigan right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is, if I can hold the page still. Nova versus Kerrigan. Ultimate bitch fight, I'm thinking. Can't wait to see that in-game, or if that's just like a promo art thing. Hmm. Apparently it's, it's a wee fan art thingamajig. It's a wee contest thingamajig, I think. So, take a quick read on here for you guys. Tentacles and claws, blah 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 so many teeth. Blah 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 You guys could probably just pause the video if you want a proper look at this type thing, so I'll try to hover over each thing just so you can see read it properly yourselves when you've got the time. So probably just pause this rather than going, Oh, why didn't you stay on it long enough? Just pause it. Oh, it's not a contest thing, it's just like showing off the secrets of how- Oh, good god! <laughs> okay, that generally gave me a wee shock there as I turned the page. So, that's interesting. It's got little quotes from people- Ooh, that looks nice. Kerrigan looks evil in there. It's like demon-possessed type thing. I don't know if that's like a- That kind of makes me think of a puppet master type thing, so. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me, Aisha. Ooh. So that's something nice. Just do a quick leaf through. So, again, the artwork is brilliant. Banelings. When it's rolling around. The Baneling actually tuck. Okay, that it tucks its arse underneath itself as it rolls. Fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. Tuck your backside in under you. An, over an overlord has never looked so terrifying. That is... <laughs> that is generally an overlord scaring the shit out of a Terry Marine. Mutalisks. Uh, I'm guessing that's a queen and that's a sporling. That's a spore. 
That's a spore bat thingy, and that's a queen. Good God. That's what they. That's what the artwork looks like. That? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, try to leaf through this. Like so, I'm gonna skip to the end so we can leaf through here properly. So, I like the whole forward Zelnaga crap. Beautiful scenery. Got the whole Protoss lady. More Protossy stuff. That looks interesting. I wonder if that's a forewarning of a new unit or something, or if that's a campaign unit. Probably a boss fight or something. Who knows? Anyway, we've got more Protossy stuff. That's all the Protossy stuff. We've got the Terran stuff. Yeah, this is major, major spoilers here, people. You got this is what you stayed around here for. You stayed for spoilers. So if you caught any of that just there, or you want to pause it, that is major, major spoiler territory, people. So, yeah, you got what you came for here. This is spoiler central. So, if you didn't want to see spoilers, you're screwed. I warned you at the beginning that this would be spoilerific. So. I say, love the detailing in the places that they make up. It's just brilliant. I'm looking forward to seeing what exact that's Yagora, apparently. So that beastie which we saw in the trailer, I'm guessing is Yagora. Different heads for lings. My got different heads for lings. I'm liking that one. That one right there. That is badass. Seriously, different heads for lings. Zelnaga Tech. Really big ass monster. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a Nidus or something. It's a frozen hive, that's something else. There's the Nidus. Ugly motherfucker, isn't it? Wait, no. I think we've got a winner here. Corruptor. Seriously, good god. That's a Hyperion. That's a Leviathan ship. That is. Interesting. And then we're back to there. So that is the art book. Hope you guys all enjoyed that little spoiler scene of awesomeness. So, and now, since you all stayed around, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I intend to play through the campaign because one of the things we have not seen from Heart of the Swarm, we've all seen the multiplayer, we've all seen the playthroughs of people playing through the multiplayer, we've all seen the arcade footage. We haven't seen the campaign though, to my knowledge. Campaign videos haven't shown up, so... I put it to you. Do you wish to see the campaign? Forewarned, there will be more spoilers, because it is a campaign. I'm Jeff Archind, signing out.